na wewe unafanya unataka kufanya nini sisi ndio tunisi ufaidi wa leo sasa tunafanya namna yote ya kufight kwenye bani kwa kubadilisha mambo haya hadi ya maisha sasa hii kundi tuko nayo hii kundi tuna inaungiwa ni tusema ni kundi ya kwenda kupigana au ni ya kutetea raia leo kupigana ni nini kupigana si kutetea unapotetea mtu anapigana na yeye ili kitu kinikuwa kibaya Lui, c'est Pasteur Raphaël, un grand leader. Durant toute sa vie en Afrique du Sud, il a toujours lutté pour la justice, paix et dignité. Lui, c'est Lise Kenga Dunia, un grand formaticien. Compte tenu du mouvement malveillant du pays, il a changé son destin et se transforme en un grand leader. On le surnomme Masola Homme Vidéo, qui signifie l'homme de la télé, l'homme très dangereux pour la conception de documentaires. Pour lui, c'est son destin. Lui, c'est Kapele Mtach, Spock Pessin. Il participe au jeu sans foi ni crainte grâce à Pasteur Raphaël qui lui a cliqué de son avenir. Lui, c'est Sbou Zikode, président du mouvement Abachali Bassem Tondolo. Notre seul espoir, nous résistons grâce à lui. Il fait de nous des hommes purs, sans foi ni crainte. D'après lui, l'union fait la force. Et lui, c'est Hamza. Un jeune leader de Kisangani, vivant en Afrique du Sud, étudiant dans le mouvement Congolais Solidarity Campaign, son rôle est pacificateur. Il lutte contre la balkanisation. Abatali Basem Chondolo, we meet with their president Buzi Kode, and then he hear what situation which is going on in Congo, and then he took the matter to their community, and the community feel pain because they are African people, and they say no, we have to speak out. So they decide to join us because we are, all of us we are African, and then. After explaining to them what is going on in our country, they feel like it's happening to their land. In fact, they want us to go back because foreigners can't in South Africa. But at the end, actually, they say they will help us to fight this evil in Congo until when God will help us to go back home. That's why we meet with Abashal Basem Chondolo and they say, no, we're going to join you guys on this cause so that we can bring improvement in your country. Thank you so much.
The reason why um, uh, we we had a joint march with uh, our brothers and sisters here in South Africa, uh, one of the one of the powerful and uh, social movements uh, called the Shali Basem John Donner, uh, is due to the fact that you know um, most of the Congolese people, for sure, they don't understand you know what is going on around. We have people who are just eating, sleeping, waking up, just go to work and come back. It's just a routine. So, and this much, we organize it uh, due to the fact that uh, the time we approach Abashali Basem Chondolo, talking about uh, our stories, our side of story, they were deeply uh, touched and they invited us uh, to their headquarters uh, to do the presentation. And we did our presentation. The presentation was well. And they said, I don't know, we cannot allow such a thing to continue taking place within our own continent. Why are we supporting the Palestinians' uh, Solidarity Forum? We, are su we supported Haiti and the other you know, uh, uh, Europeans countries why not Congo? but i was shocked two days after when i heard some rumors that there are some uh, uh, white people are coming from uh, overseas i don't know i cannot determine which countries so they are coming to uh, to, to 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 take refugees to overseas because you know uh, some of us you know we are obsessed by going overseas and then we we are thinking that by us being there our life are going to change for better because if you are there, you you, you become a, a, you, you you become a dependent person. You depend on the government social welfare, but which is it will make very difficult for you uh, 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 to achieve your heart desires. So if you want to build a building, for example, you want to own a big businesses. So you do you think that uh, social assistance that you get from those uh, you know host countries and overseas are going to facilitate you to achieve your dreams? No, that is totally impossible. We have a great nation that has got everything. It's for us to sit down, as we've been talking about political leadership, sit down and prepare ourselves and build that country. And whatever you are looking in overseas is there in DRC. But on that day, I was shocked to see uh, 
uh, hundreds of thousand people were queuing outside there uh, waiting for these white people to come and, and take them overseas. So uh, some of them, they wrote their name Dams and what and what and so forth. But for sure, on Saturday we had a march to show solidarity to our people, to the killings, rapes and massacre and all these other things that are taking place in our country. But only few people show up. But uh, when this rumor came about overseas and what, whether it's a rumor, whether it's a true, I don't know, only God in the heaven knows. Thousands of people coming from different parts of the country, different parts of South Africa, different parts of KwaZulu Natal, they were flocking into, you know, MCC to leave their names. Congolese people, are we not ashamed? Are we not cowards? We ran the country. And we came here, we told the life is going to be better. And now from here to overseas. So what if in overseas things are not good? Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? La marche a commencé, certains Congolais avaient peur de nous rejoindre. La plupart entre nous, les statues et celles de réfugiés. Cinq ans ou dix ans, on vous soumet à un document provisoire à Slam Sika. Moins d'erreur, on vous arrête sans aucun motif. Et cela nous montre que la paix n'existe pas en Afrique. Nous sommes des étrangers dans notre propre continent. Yeah, you know, uh, being in this country and uh, following the legacy of uh, the great person uh, Tata Mandela, who is actually uh, the first uh, African icon even in the entire world. Uh, this is a man who, who inspires every one of us. This is a man who fights uh, his whole life for democracy, for freedom. Is a, is a man that we always gonna remember and we respect a lot. So I think we should, as like African, we should be inspired by him. And uh, but uh, if you see what is happening in DRC and uh, looking at Lumumba, uh, I think we, we don't really uh, give the same praise uh, for our national hero Lumumba. Uh, he's a guy also who actually lost his life for the freedom in 1960. Uh, I think we should also remember him and give him also a lot of respect uh, because this is the people who paved the, 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 the way for us today. This is the people who inspire us today to fight for freedom, uh, to fight for uh, equality, uh, to fight for dignity. Normalement, les problèmes que nous rencontrons dans le mouvement, pour le moment, les Congolais sont des gens difficiles à faire comprendre les choses. De quelle façon Les Congolais sont beaucoup assoiffés du pouvoir. Tout le monde veut être chef. Comment le mouvement peut être dirigé par plusieurs supérieurs Ça, c'est la première chose. Deuxième chose, la discipline. Le peuple congolais est un peuple 
qui manque la discipline. Nous ne sommes pas disciplinés. Un peuple congolais est un peuple qui se croit à connaître des choses, alors que nous sommes des ignorants, sans le savoir. C'est pourquoi Pasteur Raphaël a prononcé un mot dans son discours nous devons être rééduqués. Et sans plus tarder, le comité exécutif du Congrès Soudet Capel est déjà en cours de suivre la formation avec ce bout du code qui supervise la formation, qui est notre encadreur. Troisième chose, c'est la corruption. Le peuple congolais est un peuple qui est qualifié pour la corruption. C'est pourquoi les Occidentaux ne veulent pas nous aider aujourd'hui. Comment on va vous aider tant que vous êtes corruptible Aujourd'hui, nous sommes à 10 dans le comité exécutif. L'un d'entre nous, il sera corrompu par un ennemi et il vend le mouvement. Il vend les autres. Tant que nous ne luttons pas à se parler de ces gens pareils, le Congo ne sera pas libre. Le Congo ne sera pas libéré. Nous n'aurons pas la peau au Congo. Donc, nous devons travailler en communauté. Nous devons fournir les, les, les efforts ensemble pour libérer le pays. Ne comptez pas sur l'intérêt privé, sur l'intérêt individuel. Il faut compter sur l'intérêt communautaire. Parce que nous, notre objectif, nous devons travailler sur l'intérêt de tous les Congolais, sur l'intérêt du peuple congolais, sur l'intérêt du pays. Pas pour, intérêt, pas pour un intérêt individuel, pas pour un intérêt privé. C'est ça. Enfin, ce que nous devons savoir, toute autorité vient de Dieu. Aujourd'hui, on veut vous dire, non, moi je viens, je, je, je vais être président. Ce n'est pas votre onction. Vous ne pouvez rien dire. Si c'est votre onction, sur le pouvoir qui vient de Dieu, vous, allez, vous serez capable de diriger le mouvement. Quel que soit l'âge, quelle que soit votre qualification intellectuelle, si c'est l'onction, si c'est la, si la bénédiction de Dieu, vous allez diriger le mouvement. Ce jour-là, c'était comme un tombeau. Petit à petit, les Congolais ont fait leur apparition. Thank <laughs> you. 
According to the picture which you saw, they kill it out. 